I like to start the DeFranco Limba 11 was hugely successful in America for NFL footballers as well as general pop who had lower back pain. So it's good for everyone. And I've just slightly tweaked the protocol to suit footballers. So um, taking into account footballers is a lot more high volume running involved compared to NFL. So therefore we want to do some work through your feet and your um, calves and ankles. So from there, I've, I've targeted the lower limb a little bit more than DeFranco did in the Limber 11. And um, we've kept the, the philosophy the same, though. So it starts with self myofascial release work, so some um, foam rolling, and then it goes on to some mobility and then um, some flexibility work as well. It starts with some tissue work. So get a lacrosse ball underneath your feet, roll for 30 to 60 seconds in the arch of your foot to release um, your, my, uh, your plantar fascia. Um, you can do that for a minimum of 30, 60 seconds, but you could also do a couple of sets each round, particularly if you found one foot was a little bit tighter than the other. So starting with the feet, then work onto your shins. So you can um, have a lacrosse ball along your shin bone um, and working on your anterior tip. So going from along your shin bone to then going into your glutes, so that specifically the piriformis. So getting into a glute stretch, also known as like a pigeon stretch, and you're opening up the glutes and then just releasing the tissues in there using the lacrosse ball the lacrosse ball's nice and firm and it's a lot smaller than the foam roller so you can get into those specific smaller muscle groups geordie's written in importance of breath work whilst mobilizing absolutely uh good point geordie so in terms you know for us to get a if you're in a recovery um point of view so if it's post game we want to be trying to do either box breathing or some form of slow um breathing to be able to help you get into a relaxed state and that will not only um, help you physically, but also it will help you mentally be able to wind down and, and hopefully promote good sleep that night. So breathing is really important post game. What would be a good warm up before a game? So in my experience working with the teams that uh, over the last sort of six seven years, uh, typically there'll be two warm ups on game day. The first one will be quite low level. It will be typically anywhere between. 50 minutes and 30 minutes from the game and it's things like mobility drills um, doing some low level athletic prep so some running mechanics um, there's there's some footy involved either the coaches and staff kicking the football and doing some ground balls but the intensity is right down so we're just getting the body prepped we're still keeping the arousal level quite low because we're 30 minutes to 40 40 minutes away from game time so we don't want to because it's a long game, uh, football, we don't want to have those arousal levels up really high and then crashing and burning later on the game. What would be a good cool down after the game? Um, typically, you want to try and wind down as best you can, so the opposite of a warm-up from a mental point of view, so making sure that you're doing some form of relaxation work, whether that be lying on your back, having the legs up on the wall to let the blood flow, um, leave the legs and, and return back to the to heart, to promote blood flow and help you relax as well by just lying on your back. Um, doing some breathing exercises can be another way to help relax your nervous system. Um, doing a ice bath can be a really effective way of reducing inflammation. So if you've had quite a physical game where there's lots of um, bumps and bruises and corkies, then, then cold is really good. So going into the beach or doing an ice bath to reduce that inflammation getting a flush massage by one of the trainers or physios or doing it yourself with a foam roller can be another way to really relax your body. Um, so yeah, it should be, or, or going into a pool could be another one as well uh, to promote blood flow. And, and But the key is that you're relaxing your body as best you can mentally and physically.